There's also a, a very common phenomenon where the pipeline gets leaky just before the senior leadership level. And that's something that's a little more uh, challenging, I think, to address. In my experience over these many decades, what I view as the most common reason for that is that women will often get right up close to a senior position. So they're at a point where they can see what the lives of the person who hold that position are actually like. And they'll often say mm -hmm. to themselves, I don't think that's worth it. Um, and in fact, almost every time I have interviewed a woman who has left uh, a job or made a lateral move out away from a job um, at a very senior level, um, what she eventually at some point says is, I decided it just wasn't worth it. And that means that the, the personal toll it looked like it took was uh, too much. And often that's because they're looking at someone who has an unbalanced approach to life and has thrown absolutely everything into the self-identification with the role and the position that usually it's a he will have. And that they don't want that for themselves, but there are many, many ways to avoid that. And so when I'm working with clients, I always urge them to not make those kinds of judgments, but to say, let me give this a try. Let me see if I can make this work for me in a way that would be satisfying where I feel like I'm able to, to um, uh, make a contribution, where I'm able to have a meaningful life, uh, where I'm able to balance a range of responsibilities. Let me see if I can do that rather than looking at some guy in a position and saying, well, his life looks awful to me, so no thank you. Because it's a, it's often a superficial judgment that really has more to do with that individual.